124, 24, trying to find a gas leak. Got to top Tez. I think you're supposed to wait like a little bit for it to warm up. And we're gonna see about this gas leak. Let's leave it a little bit far away. Give it a minute. So we have this stove here that could be the culprit. And what can I say about this stove? I can't say much about this stove. No brand yet. No brand. So let's check out to see how our line's doing. The line looks physically old. This is like in this position. So it's kind of flowing. We see it's plugged in. So we'll go for some salt water about Okay, so let's make the flow. Okay, let's do let's make sure we have no noise. Come on, go, come on, go ha. Huh? All right, the meter says it's ready. And so, we don't see any beeps. Okay. And we're leak checking before we turn on the gas. So we have a standard. Okay. So right off the bat, it seems like the gas might be off and the meter's not making any noise and we shot some water, at least some of the common areas. <sighs> Don't see anything yet. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is now turn on the gas. So what can I say? So this is definitely kind of like off. So now we're going to turn on. And with the on position, let's check the soap and water again. Nothing there. No immediate bubbles. Okay, so let's go with the meter. Nothing sniffing here along the line. Inside there. Down here. Nothing there. So let's get our water and bubble out. Still quiet. see a tag um, I guess we could go to medium medium sensor nothing next up see if we get this range to open up that's a good sign now it's so it has this built-in pilot in the middle and I don't physically smell anything. Oh, there's our brand there. 
It's called Model F. FG F three one six BSA serial number something with the one four three at the end and it doesn't quite say like is it a Maytag or what is it? Uh, 